uh, I discovered a new divisibility test for, for seven. I'm sure it's existed before, but I'd never had heard of it. So I, I produced a proof here for it. Now, uh, what I've written down here is just the standard uh, decimal representation uh, for, for the integer M. And of course, right here, y'all, the ace of I's, uh, the ace of I's here are just the digits zero through nine. I'll just write ace of I here. So this is just your decimal expansion. Um, so they're equal to uh, zero. One, two, all the way up to nine, right? That's just the decimal digits, right? Okay, now there's a strange looking result that actually ends up being a very nice divisibility test, or pretty nice. It works out okay. But uh, we're going to show that uh, if M is divisible by zero, that's what this means. M congruent to zero mod seven means seven divides M minus zero. And that's the same thing as saying M is a multiple of seven. Okay. And that's true if and only if this strange looking result is true. Notice how we keep the same uh, coefficients, but we decrement the exponent of the power of 10. All right. And then this two is kind of nuts. All right, but it, it, it turns out that it's it's true for a fairly straightforward reason. What we do uh, to show that these two statements are equivalent, this, this says that M is divisible by seven if and only if this strange looking expression here is divisible by seven. What this is is doubling the last digit and then subtracting it from the preceding digits, of it, basically, if you had to write that in English, okay? Now, so what we do is we take this second congruence and we multiply it by 10. And it has the effect that you've seen on see on this very next line. Notice uh, that this minus two changes to minus twenty. Now this is where it all comes together. This is where you know I was stuck for the longest time, but really it's a fairly simple observation to note that minus twenty is congruent uh, to uh, one mod seven. I mean, that's what does the trick here. And I'll work an example for you, but so uh, minus 20 is congruent to one modulo seven. All right. And you guys, if you don't remember, minus 20 minus one would be minus 21, which is divisible by seven. Or you could think of one minus negative 20 is 21, which is divisible by seven, right? But what happens here is this minus 20 gets replaced with one right here. You see, this is the key part of it right here. This, the minus 20 gets replaced with positive one. But what is that? That's just the decimal expansion for M. That's kind of cool, that's it. That's, that's, that's what made this thing work. It looks kind of obscure at the beginning, but once you see why it was done, it, it's, it's based on this truth right here, minus 20 congruent to one mod seven. Now let's do a check here. Um, test the number 5,768 for divisibility by seven. Well, this little rule right here would say, all you have to do is subtract two times eight. So what do we have here? 576. See, that's the next. If you take a look here, folks, I'm not writing a complete expansion out, but we decrement. So we, we go down to the three digit number. And then from that, we subtract uh, two times eight. Okay. Well, 576 minus two times eight is 576 minus 16. That's equal to uh, 560, right? But 560 is certainly divisible by seven because it's seven times 80. So 560 uh, is equal to seven times 80. And that proves it, folks. That, that's fairly interesting. And now I'm not saying this is always works out real easily, but determining if a three digit number um, is divisible by seven is a lot easier than pr proving that, uh, you know, without a calculator at least, that a four digit number is. So y'all, that's it. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you thought.